Hey guys, we're back. This is TNA Cigar Reviews, and today we have a very special cigar, courtesy of Tobacco Republic. We went to the Drew Estate event, yep. and we picked up a couple of the uh, Drew Estate Liga Pravada Number no. Nines, the Robusto size. Yeah, I'm really excited about this cigar. Um, we've heard a lot of good stuff about it, yes. as we mentioned in our, in our previous video. Um, some of the things that should we cover before we go over it? Yeah, let's um, cover a few things. First off, the, the thing that really I think should be the first thing to mention is that it, because it's called the number nine, uh, the number nine comes from the uh, batch of blend. They had 30 blends, right? Yeah. And this was actually the ninth pick, and the blends were specifically for the rollers, right? Because Drew Estates usually tend yeah. to go with more flavored cigars. Infused. Infused, you know, and the rollers, you know, they wanted uh, a kind of, I don't want to say stock, but they wanted a traditional yeah. Cigar flavor, so they, they tried out 30 blends. This was number nine, hence the name number nine. The cigar was also meant for Jonathan Drew, who's the owner of uh, Drew Estate. Very true. Yeah. Very true. Um, another thing to mention, too, is that the Toro size was actually the original size, but as of late, they have four sizes available that we could come up with. It's mm -hmm. the Bellicoso, yep. Corona, the Toro, and the Robusto size. Yep. So just look out for those. And, uh, it's also it's um, in a squirrel wrapper, uh -huh. dark wrapper. All Nicaraguan tobacco. Yeah. Um, and the cool thing about this is that um, it's, it's actually made from seven fields, and they're fairly smaller fields uh, because of the fact that they wanted to be able to control making it organic. So this is the first all-organic, uh, I don't know, is it the first all-organic cigar or by Drew Estates? Um, the, the rep from Drew Estates claimed that it was the first all organic, and okay. I couldn't find any other evidence from other cigar okay, companies. Well, we're gonna go with him. He's, he's the rep, he knows his stuff, so. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's our, uh, I think that's the specs we got before, uh, before we cut and, and go into it. We're really, uh, looking forward to having a cigar, and, um, we'll get back guys, to you. Yeah, cool. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, we're getting close to that, uh, third, the first third of the cigar. Yeah. Um, so far, you know, it's it's really uh, impressive. Yeah. Um, it's exactly what we were expecting. Maybe a little more. Actually, it is a little more than what we thought. Um, I think we mentioned. Did we mention it was a medium to full already or no? We actually didn't. We didn't. Yeah. We didn't mention that. I'm glad we didn't because it actually started off full right off the bat. Yeah. Um, we got right right when we cut the tip. Uh, we cut the cap off, we, you know, to feel the wrapper, and it had this slight, um, almost like a white pepper, not, not like a pepper yeah. that's spicy, like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. You explain it better. Well, I mean, it had that, that pepper bite, but it wasn't like that, that extra spice like that. Yeah. You know, it yeah, nice. it wasn't spicy, but it had that little bite, and you could tell something was going on. Yeah. I think it's the Oscuro wrapper. Uh, another thing we mentioned, or we yeah, we mentioned was that the uh, the wrapper is actually kind of oily. Yeah, it has a nice oily sheen to it. it yeah, and it it's it's kind of weird because like, you know, it's kind of gross, but the spit from your mouth, it's kind of like, it looks like a cup that you know you've got. It's sitting there. Yeah. And it's perspiration coming off of it. It's yeah. really it's interesting. But um, I love it. Construction is great. It's it's packed. Uh, pretty tight, but you don't have a draw problem. Um, I, I'm loving it so far. I am too. You know, just to add on the, the appearance to it, it's the wrapper. I just like the color. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no, you know, initially when I was about to light it up, I, I looked at the wrapper and, you know, there, was, there wasn't any color. It was all consistent. The color was very consistent, just that nice brown, that dark brown. Perfect to school yeah. wrapper. Um, what about your ash? I know you know, some... I, I had issues with my ash, you know, um, the ash is a little bit flimsy, I would say. It, I mean, it has that nice yeah. white color, but it just seems to drop. Yeah, it's kind of like cakey, like layered yeah. like a cake, and like, almost like you can see through it. Yeah. Um, I'm worried about mine, it's going to fall in my pants, I just know it. It always happens. So, uh... But, I mean, just, just holding it, though, it has yeah, a nice, yeah, firm yeah. feel to it, it's yeah. solid. It, you can tell just by, just by the feel of the cigar, that it's, it's a, you know, it's going to pack a punch. Oh, yeah. So um, and just you know, I'm I'm a band guy, so I like to look yeah, at that yeah, when yeah. I smoke. So uh, if you can kind of just look at this band right here, I mean it's just it's really simplistic. You should get, you should get the back part. I get the, the back uh, part too. The symbol on there. Yeah. 
do a state symbol. Mm -hmm. You know, with the band, I mean, it's just simplistic. You know, it has the writing of Liga Provada number nine, has that little crest in the back, but it's really ele elegant. Yeah, it's very simplistically elegant, if that. Um, in terms of flavor, what are you getting off of it? Um, I'm getting some deep, deep flavors. Um, almost like the elements, like earthy, you know? Kind of woodsy. Um, I don't know, it's it's a blast. And, you know, I'm not a big fan of these full body cigars, but, oh man, it's selling me. It's converting me right now. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's like I said, that, that hint of peppery uh, tingle and... The deep flavors. Tingle? Yeah, the tingle. <laughs> yeah. You know. Um, and I'm getting some great flavors off this. Like you mentioned, it's that deep, earthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earthy yeah. flavor too. But I'm also picking up like that, in, in terms of the earthiness, like a truffle. And it's just really quite nice. And one thing I'm noticing though, is that the white pepper flavor was really strong in, in the beginning. Uh -huh. But it's actually starting to subside a little bit in that earthy yeah, truffle. Yeah, it's, it's, like it's, it's, it's opening up. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah. I'm just really honest with what's going to be doing towards the halfway point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I know we got some more, uh, some little tidbits about the, um, the production of the cigar and the history of the, of the crop. So I think we'll, we'll probably catch on the next, next break after that. Yeah. But um, we're loving it. Yeah, I'm so loving far, it. I'm really, um, I'm really, you know, Drew Estates are really well known for their infused cigars. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I got the cigar, I picked it up and... You know, I was a little hesitant because, you know, I'm like, oh, these guys are, you know, their niche is the infused, and this is a traditional style cigar. Yeah, so we were kind of, yeah, not, I'm not scared, but iffy. But yeah. It, they, they did a great job with this. I'm getting pretty close to retract that, that initial thought, though. I mean, it's really impressive. What initial thought? You know, the, the hesitance. Oh, you know, right, 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 right. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, definitely. Well, all right, well, we're going to be getting back to you towards the halfway point, and uh, just keep on watching. Cool.